hello there. Today I'm going to be discussing with you where coffee beans come from. We see them like this, and we never ask ourselves, what the fuck is that? Because really, it's like, what even is that? Today we're gonna learn, together. I think the first thing that we need to establish is where they grow. Do they grow in a bush? Do they grow underground? No, neither. They grow on trees. Now, you can't just go and buy a coffee tree right now and plant it in your backyard, unless you live in a very warm climate. Think Peru, Guatemala, Brazil, Hawaii, Sumatra, Colombia, places that you want to go on vacation and wear your shorts. For example, Chamberlain Coffee Dark Roast, the Night Owl Blend, comes from Peru, Guatemala, and Sumatra. We list it right here. So if you're ever curious, where, where is this coming from? It's right there. So it all starts in a warm place on a tree, but there's so much more that we need to discuss. Coffee doesn't grow overnight. It actually takes a few years. On top of that, it requires the perfect environment. The rainfall needs to be perfect. The temperature needs to be perfect. It's very complex. It's like, that grumpy friend you have. You have to make sure you're doing everything right around them or else everything goes wrong, you know? What first happens is a beautiful blooming of flowers. These beautiful white flowers. What a sight to behold. From there, the flowers turn into what's called coffee cherries, which are a little fruit, I guess. Sometimes they're red, sometimes they're yellow. Once they're ripe, it's time to harvest them. Once the coffee cherries are harvested, they go through this special process called processing. <laughs> and there are two types of processing, the wet method and the dry method. Ew. The dry method consists of the cherries being laid out to sunbathe and dry out. The wet method is a little bit more violent. They basically skin the coffee cherries, that's weird and dark, and then they let the cherries then ferment, and then they're washed. So many things have already happened, it's still not ready for you to drink. After the process, the coffee beans are extracted from the coffee cherry. Now, this is just so fascinating to me. Isn't this just a delicious little fact? What we're drinking when we drink coffee is the seed of the coffee cherry, or the pit, or whatever. The center, it's the seed. So after the coffee beans are extracted from the coffee cherries, they must be examined. Once again, the beans are sorted out into all these different categories. They're cleaned, and then they're graded based on their quality. And fun fact about Chamberlain Coffee, all of our coffee is specialty grade, which means it's pretty good. And then there is still one more step. Can you believe it? After the coffee beans are extracted from the coffee cherries, they're then roasted. And then they're still not ready to drink because in order to consume them, you have to do your special little process and for everyone that looks different. Maybe you're a French press kind of person. Maybe you're an espresso machine kind of person. Maybe you're a cold brew kind of person. Maybe you do just eat coffee beans by themselves. I'm not judging as long as you're eating Chamberlain coffee beans. I don't care what you do. It's a long journey that the coffee beans take all the way to you but I think knowing the journey that they go on makes you appreciate every single little coffee bean that ends up in your hands and your cup because isn't it just such a special thing, the coffee bean? I hope you learned something today. I definitely did. I'll talk to you later.